The new Targaryen armor for House of the Dragon is so, so sexy. HBO, are you trying to make up for the final few seasons of Game of Thrones? Because my heart isn't ready to forgive you yet, but, you know, we're getting there if you're going to keep doing these uh, amazing things. I mean, the collapse of D&D's career has helped soothe things over quite a bit, but you, you're doing things right. Hey, spoilers for House of the Dragon. Obviously, if you don't want spoilers for House of the Dragon, please don't watch this video. Go outside, touch some grass. Unless you're allergic to grass, then uh, go touch some rocks, but gently. They're very dangerous. They've killed before and they'll kill again. So we got some leaked photos of the new Targaryen armor for House of the Dragon, which makes sense. We would be getting some armor. Danny didn't really have any super themed Targaryen armor because the Dothraki and Unsullied already had their own style and they were rocking it and you know, why mess with that? So the fact that we're getting new Targaryen armor shouldn't be a spoiler or a surprise, but how it looks, I, I guess, could be. So thanks to some super snoopers, we got our first look at the Targaryen armor, and it is so good. Oh my gosh. Also, I love the poses of the extras. I really love them lounging around in their Targaryen armor. I wish they could keep the sunglasses and just, that's part of the Banff Targaryen guard. They wear sunglasses. Because the sun never sets on a badass. The depth of red for the armor, I think, is great. I think it looks really good, especially with the black. I mean, most things go with black, but of course, Targaryen colors, red and black. The fact that the armor is red and black makes sense, but you know, HBO's done some silly things before. And I know some people are going to complain and say, oh, it being red, it looks way too much like Lannister armor, to which I'll say to you, okay, that's a, that's a fine point. And I agree with you people that perhaps um, our casual watchers might be a little confused, but there are some distinct differences. One, the Lannister armor was mostly red and gold, where the Targaryen armor here is black and red. Also, there were like lions on the shoulders, and you see on here, it's the Targaryen sigil, so a dragon on the shoulders. So I feel like that's enough where people are gonna be like, oh, yeah, these aren't Lannister soldiers, guards. Also, the fact that they're, you know, surrounding Targaryens would probably be a big hint too. I'm honestly not too sure about the helmets. They kind of look way too much like an egghead. I'm, I'm not loving them, but I guess the entire outfit can't be a, a complete hit. It's weird because with the main show, it was always a hit or miss with the helmets. And I think most of the time they did a good job, but sometimes it was just, why? What are you doing? And I feel like that's what they did with this. Targaryen helmets. I don't think this looks good at all. I understand there is historical precedence. I, I, I understand that. Although, if you really like um, the helmets and you're just like losing your mind because it's just everything you wanted and more, let me know in the, the comment section down below. I really want to know why these helmets just fucking get you off. It's interesting to go back to the shoulder sigils, the Targaryen sigil, the you know, three-headed dragon. It's closer to George's vision when you look at it, but then I saw other leaked sigils for the Targaryens for this show, and it's not exactly the same. I don't know why they're making it a, a bit different. You would think it would be like uniform across everything that has the Targaryen sigil. I, I don't know. I also know some people are gonna still complain about the four legs on the dragon and stuff like that, and I, they have to make it consistent with the main show. I mean, they don't have to, and certainly there's some explanations why it wouldn't be that way, such as, you know, Danny's an idiot, but I don't, I, I'm not gonna be too bothered by this. Especially since I really don't wanna trigger the wyverns versus dragons crowd because it, it's a stupid discussion, honestly, at this point. It's been explained so much by George, what he was doing with the dragons, his thoughts on it. I just, I don't feel like it needs to be dug up again. But if you want to in the comment section, like go after someone, go ahead. I mean, just absolutely just destroy a random commoner's day who uh, just like comments, wow, what an awesome looking dragon. And you'd be like, uh, hi, Wyvern, get wrecked. Or the opposite, I, I don't care. I for one cannot wait to see the Targaryen sigil plastid 
everywhere in this show since the Targaryens are fully in control, obviously. They are currently the um, sitting on the Iron Throne for, I want to say Seven Kingdoms, and it definitely is called the Seven Kingdoms, but every time you say that, you have people uh, point things out, and then, you know, I have to point out to them that they're wrong, and it is um, Kings of the Seven Kingdoms, and it just, it gets weird. I do really quick, of course, want to complain a tiny, tiny bit. I understand we're not going to be focusing a lot on their lower half, but the pants and the boots kind of look bad. Like, I'm not very impressed with them. I guess on the other hand, this is like a guard for a house, so of course, why would they have like really awesome pants and boots? But also, they're, you know, a guard of a really wealthy, powerful house, so... Maybe they should. I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking this too much. Maybe the pants are going to look a lot better once we see it in the series. But they remind me of like those uh, cheap pirate pants that you can buy at a Halloween store for like five, ten dollars and the boots too. Like they're just strapped over your shoes. I just, I I'm not overly impressed, but I don't think it's the biggest deal. And I have a feeling it it'll look a lot better on screen and not from like a super snooper who took a photo from a ways away, you know? But if you love these pants and boots, let me know in the comment section down below. But yeah, I'm super, super happy with this Targaryen armor. And if this is a hint with the other armor we're going to get, because I know there's been some leaked armor for other houses that looks just as good, maybe not as good as the Targaryen armor, but I'm very biased towards Targaryen, so honestly, if you showed me any armor, and then you showed me Targaryen armor, I'd go, yeah, the Targaryen armor is where it's at. So I think they're going in the right direction. Honestly, the costuming and everything has been really good so far for leaks for House of the Dragon. The wigs for the Targaryens have been a bit hit or miss. Also, the Velaryons, it's interesting because Corlys Velaryon's wig, amazing so awesome and then you see some other people in his house and you're like "Ooh, ooh, why so yeah i'm gonna be reporting on more leaks spoilers predictions and everything for house of the dragon especially since we're getting more and more out there from different sources but for this video i kind of just wanted to focus on the targaryen armor because it just i, sh I was shocked that it looked that good and the colors, like, I cannot even begin to imagine. So it looks good through a lens of a super snooper. Imagine how good it's going to look when it's actually uh, seen on a professional <laughs> camera where they uh, adjust the colors and make everything look super, super good. So... <sighs> okay, I'm gonna stop. Like, subscribe, come back for more sci-fi fantasy videos. I, I could nerd out about this Targaryen armor, like, all day. Mm -hmm.